Yes. So now I do quite a lot of stuff about the media. I do a lot of stuff about Murdoch. But this is the opposite extreme from Rupert Murdoch. This is about the Shoreham Herald. The Shoreham Herald serves the, the uh, villages of Shoreham and Southwick, which is where we live in between Brighton and Worthing on the Sussex coast. And in common with all local newspapers, including obviously the one in Glastonbury, I'm sure, there is a, a news agent or a couple of news agents which are its outlets. And in order to try and persuade you to buy this newspaper, um, the, they have a, a billboard outside, outside the news agents, and the headline on the billboard is supposed to make you want to go and buy the local paper. So, of course, the headline on the billboard is completely surreal in its parochiality. Now, that's, you know, that's by the by. But once it was so utterly surreal that it inspired verse. This poem is called Shed Fire. <laughs> A perfect English pageantry. An act so gloriously mundane. New neighbours put up eight foot fence so strangers now will thus remain. As English as our small town press would like so much to dish the dirt but headline uneventfulness. Local shed fire. No one hurt. <laughs> a Cod War veteran complains about some kids skateboarding by. The Daily Mail sells very well and he and it see eye to eye. The homeless sleep under the pier but most around here don't seem to care. That's city life. Another's news. Shed fire though. Police aware. The poster yells it black and white. A headline story, that's for sure. And there's a pull out TV guide for folk who rarely ask for more. And two, more lively than the rest, are chatting in the autumn sun. Not in their backyard, thank God, but shed fire. Little damage done. Thank you.